everyone, it's Rachel, and as you know, it is back to school season. Whether you have a child who's in school or you yourself are in school. Uh, so I decided that my videos for the next couple weeks are going to be school related. And actually, I have one full week where I will be attempting to upload a school related video every single day. For today, I came up with 15 study tips that I think are most helpful and that I have heard help other people as well. So I'll just dive right in. Number one, this is a pretty easy one. Uh, make sure you write down your assignments. I know most of us are like, oh, I'm young. I'll remember it by the time I get home. But a lot of things happen throughout the course of a school day. And I know I used to think that and then I'd get home and be like, wait, what was the assignment I was supposed to do again? What pages was I supposed to read? So make sure you write down your assignments while you're in class and when you get them. It'll help a lot in the long run. Also, break down bigger projects into smaller, um, more manageable steps. Meaning, like, when you receive a, like, a really big project at school, instead of just looking at it and going, oh my gosh, how am I going to complete this project in two weeks? Look at it and really break down what the project is. That way you can break it down into smaller chunks that you can just chip away at throughout the two weeks as opposed to just trying to sit down the night before or even in the morning I've done and crank it out. It's a lot harder than it needs to be. So if you just break it down into smaller chunks, it's less overwhelming. It's less overwhelming and it's just easier to attack. Also, take notes in class. So when a teacher is talking, if you have classes lecture style, make sure you jot down notes, important dates, um, because if the teacher is mentioning it in class, most likely it will be on a test or it will be something important to know in the future or just to know that's why you're in school to learn things. So take notes in class. In addition to that, make sure you take your own notes outside of class. And what I mean by that is when there's reading to be done, you're assigned reading like a chapter or something for a class. While you read that chapter, even if it's not part of your homework assignment, just jot down notes. Whatever your note-taking strategy is, whether it's summaries or just jotting down dates, quick little notes, whatever it is, make sure you take your own notes outside with um, your own reading that you're doing. In addition to that, you can annotate your own notes, so highlight important dates, but also while you're reading, jot little notes off to the side if something doesn't make sense. That way you remember what didn't make sense to you when you were reading it, so you can ask later um, for clarification. That way you do better and you're more likely to retain the information. Going along with that, if you don't understand something, just ask. Teachers are there to help you, and if a teacher for some reason is not willing to help you, other students might understand it, go to a librarian, someone will understand it. So if you don't understand something, just ask for clarification and you will get it and it will definitely help. Take the time to actually do the assignments. My sister was terrible at doing assignments, not turning them in, which is just a waste of time at that point if you've already done it. But a bigger thing, I know kids in my class who just would goof off when they went home, they'd make plans to socialize with friends, and they didn't even take the time to sit down and do the assignment that took 15 minutes to do. So just make sure you actually take the time to do the assignments and don't overwork yourself like in your schedule don't schedule too many things in a day so you have time to study do your assignments actually pass um so make sure you reread and rewrite your notes um if you write 10 pages worth of notes and not all of it is necessarily relevant to what is going on then you can just rewrite what is important um, you can rewrite it on flashcards, whatever your study style is, just rewrite it down. And it's been like scientifically proven in a study 
that if you write something down, you are a lot more likely to remember it than if you just hear it. I remember a teacher telling me there was like this whole study done about if you hear it, you're more likely to retain it this way. If you speak it, um, it's like different, um, different ways you're able to retain information. Writing it down is one of them, and I know it definitely works for me. Uh, you can also col color coordinate your notes, um, put people in one color, whether it's a highlighter or a pen or whatever you're doing. Because when you're taking a test, if you can try to go back and imagine your notes, if you can think of a specific color that your notes are in, you are there's a chance that you might be able to remember it better than if all of your notes were just written in plain pencil, plain pen, whatever. Also, it makes it a little more interesting when you are studying if you're looking at a piece of paper as opposed to just ramblings in the same color pen. If it's different colors, your mind is more likely to pay attention and less likely to wander off. Uh, flashcards, different note-taking strategies, I've already talked about that. For me, flashcards work a lot. I take a lot of notes, I do flashcards, even if I don't necessarily get the time to use the flashcards, which I would recommend making in advance, that way you do have the time to use them. Just the process of sitting down and looking at my book, looking at my notes, making the flashcards helps me remember. Um, read your material out loud. If you have a quiet space to sit down and just work on what you're doing, you can even record yourself. Just read your homework assignments out loud. It's more likely to make sense to you. And also, if you read it out loud, as long as it doesn't take hours and hours, um, and you record it, then when you're getting ready or you have a few minutes, you're going to go study, you can just pop it in and you're listening to your information as you're getting ready. Now, I know most schools don't allow electronics, like when you're taking tests or like headphones, music, anything. You don't want to be caught cheating this way because <laughs> it will not be good for you, for your school record, for your grade, none of it. So just make sure you use this method outside of class and don't try to sneak it in in class. Um, make sure you're in an environment where there are as few distractions as possible. I know for me, that goes against everything. There have been times where I've had to hide certain things from myself, whether it's my phone or I remember my freshman year of college, I got this word search book and it's totally nerdy. I became totally obsessed with trying to complete the word search book that I was starting to neglect, like time to do my assignments so I had to hide it from myself and go into a distraction free environment up so I could actually study on my assignment focus on my assignments um but normally for me when I'm studying I have YouTube going in the background I have Netflix going in the background I'm watching something watching something I'm more, more listening to it and doing my assignments because, or listening to music because it helps me drown out everything else around me. So whatever distraction free is for you, find it and use it. Also, be prepared with everything that you need. That way when you sit down to study, this goes along with distraction free. You're not constantly getting up to go get new things. Just put everything in a backpack. Make sure you have everything that you need and sit down and study, do your homework, whatever you need to do, just make sure you have it all with you when you sit down. Um, this goes along with the as few distractions, just find a good study spot, whether it's at a desk, um, a kitchen table, a library, your bedroom, wherever it is for you, whatever environment helps you focus, try to have that spot consistent and it will just help you in the long run be able to spend less time doing homework because you'll be more focused and be just more ready. And finally, what I do occasionally is I separate my assignments into different bags or different folders. And because I have one folder that holds everything of mine, it has extra sheets and it also just has all of my just has all of my assignments and then when I go to like 
work, like when finals came up for me especially, or I was going home and I needed to do just certain class because I didn't have homework in every class, I had a separate binder. And I made sure to print out or have whatever I needed to do, paper, project, any reading assignment. I had it written out and I put it in a separate folder and put it in my bag. So going along with make sure you have everything that's needed, try to avoid having too much because it will just bog you down and overwhelm you. So just separate your things and you'll be fine. Sorry I had to go in a hurry. So those are all the study tips that I came up with. If you have extras, feel free to comment them down below, help each other out. You can message me directly. Uh, as always, if you have video ideas you really want to see or just questions, feel free to message me, contact me, comment it down below, whatever. And I always check and I try to answer as much as possible. So just... Let me know and I would be willing to do just about anything for you guys. So that's all I have for you. I will see you in another video. Bye.